ग्रेटिन टेस्ट हाई इट इज डन ए क्रेटिन टेस्ट इज ए मेजर अफ हाउ वेल द किडनीज आर डुईंग देयर जब अफ फिल्टरिंग वेस्ट फ्रम द ब्लाड क्रेटिन इज ए केमिकल कम्पाउंड लेफ्ट ओवर फ्रम एनार्जी मेकिंग प्रसेसेस इन मसल्स हेल्दी किडनीज फिल्टर क्रिएटिन आउट ऑफ द ब्लड क्रिएटिन एक्जिट्स द बॉडी एज अ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट इन यूरिन ए मेजरमेंट ऑफ क्रिएटिन इन यूर ब्लड और यूरिन हेल्प्स यूर हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल फाइंड आउट हाउ वेल यूर किडनीज आर वर्किंग यूर हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल मे ऑर्डर ए क्रिएटिन टेस्ट फॉर द फॉलोइंग रीजन्स to find out if kidney disease is the cause of symptoms you have been having to check for kidney disease if you have diabetes high blood pressure or other conditions that raise the risk of kidney disease to find out if existing kidney disease is getting worse or to track how well treatment is working to watch for side effects of medicines including kidney damage or a change in kidney function to closely watch how well a transplanted kidney is working how you prepare a standard blood test helps measure creatinine levels in blood also called serum creatinine levels your healthcare professional may ask you not to eat overnight before the test this is called fasting For a creatinine urine test you may need to collect urine over 24 hours in containers that the clinic gives you For either test you may have to stop eating meat for a set amount of time before the test If you take a cre- creatin supplement you will likely need to stop use Creatin is a compound that's used for reasons such as building muscle mass it can affect creatinine levels what you can expect a serum creatinine test involves getting a blood test you have a needle inserted into a vein in your arm and a sample of blood is taken for a urine test you provide a single sample of urine in the clinic or you collect samples at home over 24 hours and return them to the clinic results healthcare professionals measure creatinine in, in blood or urine and interpret the test results in many ways including the following serum creatinine level creatinine usually enters the blood stream and is filtered from the blood stream at a rate that tends to be constant the amount of creatinine in blood should be somewhat stable a rise in the level of creatinine may be a sign that the kidneys are not working as they should serum creatinine is reported as milligrams of creatinine to a deciliter of blood or it's reported as micromoles of creatinine to a liter of blood the typical range for serum creatinine is for adult men 0.74 to 1.35 mg per deciliter or 75 65.4 to 119.3 micromoles per liter for adult women 0.99 to 1 0 1.04 milligrams per deciliter or 52.2 to 91.9 micromoles per liter glomerular filtration rate also called gfr the measure of serum creatinine also can be used to estimate how quickly the kidneys filter blood This estimate is called the glomerular filtration rate. Serum creatinine varies from one person to another. So the glomerular filtration rate may provide a more accurate reading on kidney function. To figure out 
glomerular filtration rate a healthcare professional takes into account serum creatinine count and other factors such as age and sex a glomerular filtration rate score below 60 suggest kidney disease the range of scores below 60 can help track treatment and gauge whether kidney disease is becoming worse creatinine clearance creatinine clearance is a measure of how well the kidneys filter creatinine out of the blood stream creatinine Creatinine levels the body in urine after it's filtered from blood. Healthcare professionals usually measure creatinine in a 24-hour urine sample and in a serum sample to figure out your creatinine clearance. The urine and blood samples are taken during the same time period, but shorter time periods for urine samples may be used. Accurate timing and collection of the urine sample is important. Your healthcare professional reviews your test results with you. Results lower than the typical range for your age group may mean that the kidneys are not working as they should. Albumin creatinine ratio Another method for health healthcare professionals to interpret urine creatinine count is called the albumin creatinine ratio albumin is a protein in blood healthy kidneys don't tend to filter it out of the blood so there should be little to no albumin in the urine albumin creatinine ratio describes how much albumin is in a urine sample in relation to how much creatinine there is the results are reported as the number of milligrams of albumin for every gram of creatinine. Results that suggest a healthy kidney are for adult men less than 17 milligrams per gram, for adult women less than 25 milligrams per gram. A higher than typical result may be a sign of kidney disease. The result may mean that diabetes has damaged the kidneys and led to a condition called diabetic neuropathy. This also is known as diabetic kidney disease. Your healthcare professional talks with you, with you about the results of a creatinine test. Ask what the results mean for your health or treatment plan.